All right, hello everyone. It's been a while since I've done a video that's not like gaming, but I want to do something different as well as kind of indulge myself. Um, and I, I uh, was thinking of some fun ways to do some interesting stuff and hopefully maybe get more people interested in the YouTube content that I'm making and maybe doing some stuff that's just kind of out of the norm. Some stuff that would give people that like follow me on Twitch a reason to go to my YouTube and, and stuff that's really shareable or maybe kind of exciting. So today we're going to be doing a uh, two camera recording. So we have two different angles here and so we have the one down here. Uh, on my phone, which is recording kind of the close-up. And we have the one on me kind of recording my reactions in my face. But I'll kind of show off what we're doing today on the main camera, and then we'll include the close-up footage when we need. So I have a package here from Amazon uh, with a bunch of Japanese snacks in it. I think it has 30 pieces, and it wasn't that much. It was like 15 bucks. And I want to start a new uh, a new trend. If these videos do get popular, I'll definitely do more because I'm going to enjoy it a lot. But uh, I want to also sort of trend with these if I if I do them because I I, I feel like as um, someone of faith and I, I don't want to be pushy about it but I feel like I could do more with my money so every time that I'm doing a like cultures type of snacks and like taste test I'm going to donate to a charity for that country so today it's Japan and I'm gonna be phone I'll, I'll link in the video description the charity that I'm donating to an equal amount of money that this costs me. Uh, to help with something, uh, some kind of issue in whatever country, whatever culture that I'm buying these from. So that'll be linked down below if you guys want to consider donating as well. But yeah, we're going to try some cultural snacks uh, from the Japanese region. And uh, I don't know if it's really a region, but the country of Japan. And it's going to be fun. I'm excited. So let's uh, let's go ahead and maybe switch camera views. We'll have both of them in the video. I don't know how we'll do it. I've never recorded one like this. But yeah, I've already opened the package because this Amazon stuff can be kind of tough to open. I've actually not really taken anything out. I did scratch off my... Uh, my address, so uh, I, I didn't want to trust myself to edit that way in post. But uh, yeah, here is the close-up outside of the box. And uh, this looks like a lot of fun. I'm going to try a little bit of each one of these and maybe give my thoughts and feelings on them. And then, uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know. And uh, if you want to purchase this, I'll put a link uh, to these for purchase on Amazon as well, if you guys are interested in trying the same one as I, as I got. I'm not sure that you would get the same exact. It's an assortment, as it says. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's be intelligent, and I'll use some scissors. Yeah, I really just wanted to try these, and uh, so I can snack on them. But uh, I wanted to make the video without having touched anything or given any first impressions. Uh, okay, so we'll lay everything out. Uh, everything out here, and then we'll kind of uh, go through and try each of them and show them off as we try them. Is this a sticker? Tons Tonosama Gold Prize. Yummy, yummy. <laughs> That's cute. Looks like I got a little sticker. There's all kinds of stuff in here. Oh my gosh. I really, after I saw how small the package was, I didn't think there'd be that much, but there's actually a lot in here. And if you guys ever tried these, or if you uh, know of any of these, let me know in the comments below. I'm kind of interested to see. I'm not really sure which way that was supposed to be facing. But uh, yeah, this is a uh, this is gonna be a lot of fun. Okay, there's some different varying sizes and shapes and lots of colors for sure. I'm just making sure that all my recording is good while I'm laying this out. What on earth? We've got a lot of stuff here. Oh my gosh! Some of it's not in the camera, so I'm noticing here. Wow. <laughs> I uh, I think I'm about halfway through. I, I wow, is this this is 30 pieces? This feels like more than 30, but maybe I just don't know how to count. You know, I'm just gonna start tossing them all out here. Okay, I'm so excited. I guess maybe I should. I don't know. Should I try it all now? I guess we'll get we'll get a good bit of these tried. I don't want to open them all and then throw them away. You know, like because I can't finish them right away. All right, where should we start? Let's start with the big one here. So we're going to start with the, actually, Texas corn. That's so funny. Um, I've got this ship from Japan to where I, I am now. What it's made with something from here. Yeah, it doesn't really say much that I can really decipher or understand here. I get Texas corn, so it looks like maybe an octopus or a squid on the front that's uh, flavoring this. So let's go ahead and try one of these. A little corn puff. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's supposed to be uh, squid flavored or what. It's good. I like it. All right. So that one's pretty good. I guess I'll rate these. I don't know. Should I rate these? 
I'd give that a 6 out of 10. It's pretty good. Nothing nothing bad. Very simple. Probably a healthier snack than a lot of the potato chips and stuff. So I could totally get behind, even though I didn't rate it very high, like eating these instead of potato chips for a meal or something. I mean, I imagine they're healthier. I mean, I can't read the ingredients, though, so I really like those. All right, what do we got here? We got lollipop candy ice stick lipstick. That's a lot of words on this one as opposed to the other one that I understand. All right, and this looks like a sucker or something. Yeah, it is uh, some kind of sucker. Do you bite it? It doesn't really say. All right. That's very good. It's a fruity flavor. Okay, no, it's not really chewy. I'll try to try them all and then put them back, maybe. In a packaging that um, I can maintain, maybe. That's good. I like that. It's a good sucker. Nothing wrong, nothing, nothing terrible. Fruit flavors. I enjoy that. I'll give that a 5 out of 10. All right, and then this looks like something I might need a spoon for, but I'll just try to drink it. It's just like apples and then some kind of jelly here. Let's go ahead and give that an open. I uh, kind of got the idea from this video, or for this video from Atomic Shrimp. I originally watched him do scam baiting, which is hilarious if you haven't seen that, but he would try all kinds of unboxing stuff. I've had something very, very similar to this before, actually. Um, it's pretty good. It's kind of just like an apple jelly, really. I don't know if it's really considered a snack. I guess in this shape it is. I like it. I think I have a good 4 out of 10, though. I don't... I, like, a 4 out of 10 sounds bad, right? Like, 4.5 out of 10, you know? I don't I don't love it. I don't hate it. It's pretty good. Oh, the green screen is uh, phasing it out. That's funny. All right, let's just keep going here. All right. Nothing that I can discern on this package, and it looks like drugs, so it's got to be good. <laughs> okay, then. Oh. oh, it's chocolate. Why in this form, though? It's so strange. I don't know if there's any other flavor but chocolate. It's kind of like an M&M. &M. It's good. Sure that I get up close. It's kind of strange. I I like it. Six out of ten. It's good stuff. All right, and we got this little package here. It has like a bunny and a squirrel and a bird on it. Cup Cuppy Ramune Ramune. Don't know how to pronounce that, so I apologize in advanced in advance. I don't know how to speak my own language. How would I know how to speak another language? This is like a sweet tart. Although, not just like, so I gotta say, sweet tarts, I don't dislike them, but this is not just a sugar flavor. This is, um, it's got like a little bit of fruit flavor to it, so I think it's better than sweet tarts. Very similar texture and consistency. Uh, I like them a lot though, I'm going for the third one. This is good, it's good. If you like sweet tarts, try these because these are better. Seven out of 10. Very, very good. Ooh, that last one had a different flavor, too. They're all, like, discernibly different flavors, rather than sweethearts are just, like, different colors. These are actually different flavors. Oh, this is a butterscotch. I'll take a lick of it. Uh, I'm going to try and preserve all this, I and I'm not going to try and waste this. I just talked about, you know, like, donating to charity and stuff. Um, I definitely don't want to waste this. I'm going to... Ooh, I'm not going to throw any of it away. I'm going to keep it all and repackage it somehow in a container somewhere. Let's see if the Japanese know butterscotch better than us. Just solid butterscotch. <laughs> really struggled getting that back in the package. I don't know how much I'll have left in for com comedic effect, but I apologize. Not bad. Oh, uh, the butterscotch. Not a. I'm not a huge butterscotch guy. If it was to rate just a straight butterscotch, probably like a five or six out of ten. But if I'm rating it just on like the snacks, uh, four out of ten. All right, what is this little guy? It looks really fun. I don't know what this is. Some kind of sucker with like a, maybe a Pop Rocks type effect. Man, I'm not even halfway done. I'm glad I'm not eating a lot of this stuff. Like a lot at once, I mean, of one thing. Oh, is this like a sour sucker or something? Okay, it's got like a powder on the inside, which I'll, I guess I'll show on the closer up camera. 
and then it's uh, coating the sucker. Which I have no idea what flavor it is. It's like an apple sucker? Maybe tamarind or something? It's not really that sour, it's a little sour. The guy on the front is like a soda can. Um, it's supposed to fizz? It's not fizzing for me. I don't know what flavor that's supposed to be. It's fun. I like it. Good taste. Nothing wrong with it. Ah, six out of ten. I enjoyed that. Oh, this is a really pretty packaging. Do I have two of these? Oh, I was really hoping I did, because I think my fiance would like to see this. Oh, I kind of almost don't want to rip that apart. Let her try. Uh, I'm going to open it. All right. If I can get it open. There we go. What is inside? It's like a little peach. Oh, that is so cute. I can't eat. I, I can't. I got to wait for her to, to do that part. I'll try to edit that in later. That is so cute. I got to let her see that before I eat that. <laughs> Nine out of ten. No, I haven't even tried it yet. Uh, let's go for this one. Ichigo cream. I mean, that's actually mean. I know it's like a bleach character, but it means strawberry, I believe. All right, let's open this. Another really cute package. She would love this. I'm gonna try to save her some. Oh, there's two. Perfect. I can eat one of these. Look at that. It's like a little sandwich cookie with some, maybe some strawberry in there. It's good stuff. Tastes kind of how you'd think. Like a cracker with some strawberry cream. Not bad. Not that offensive. That last bite was actually really good. I really liked that last bite. Really nice. It's like kind of quiet strawberry flavor, but that does come through. I would actually appreciate a little more cream on those, being an American that like slathers my stuff in sweets. I give it a 7 out of 10, though. That was really, that was really solid. And then we got this crazy looking guy. I think he's a banana. That was a really fun packaging. Is there a, is that toilet paper? I don't know what that. No, it's a it's a banana with chocolate in it. I guess that's what this is, like a banana candy with chocolate. Oh, look at that! I guess right. Oh, uh oh, it's falling apart. Okay. Oh, really soft. Oh, that's so good. A little bit of chocolate inside the banana cream. Super soft. This is at least a 9 out of 10. This is so... I mean, I got a lot more to go. I'm going to get a whole thing. All right, I'm going to order more of these. There's nothing on the package that I can discern to tell what it's called. <laughs> Crap. If someone knows what this is called, please tell me in the comments. That is so good. Wow. I ate the whole thing. It was so fast. <laughs> okay. Looks like we got a pre like bacon pretzel stick. Looks really good. I'll eat one and then save the rest. Bacon potato. Actually, it says at the top there. Let's see. If I can get it open without spilling it everywhere. Okay, yeah, I can eat one and then let's put that to the side. All right. Mm. Two really good ones in a row. That is so good. Mmm. That was really good. So a really flavorful pretzel. But it doesn't betray like what a pretzel's supposed to be. But it still has a lot of flavor packed in there. It's so good. Hit that a seven or eight out of ten. Seven point five out of ten, we'll say. We got this little cookie here. I hope it's good, because I'd probably just eat the whole thing rather than trying to reseal this one. <laughs> I still have so many to go. I'm excited. All right. I don't know what that means, and it's probably I might even be holding it upside down. I'm not sure, but it's gonna be good. Whoa! Wow! I thought it was gonna be like a cracker. It's like a cake on the inside. The outside is crispy and like a cracker. But that's like a cake. Wow! It's like a green tea cake or something. I'm guessing it's like some kind of green tea. I don't know what else it'd be. Mm. It's a rice cake or something. Is a wheat cake a thing? That is so good. 
I will finish that. I'm set to the side for now to continue on. I'm gonna finish that. Eight out of ten. Nine. Out of, I mean, that was a that was a really nice experience. It's probably it's like an eight point five. That was so pleasant and so nice and and a really really delicious flavor. I love that. I really love them. All right, we got these little uh, animal crackers. I guess I don't really know. It's got an animal on it at least. Can't read anything on the back again. So here we go. Oh, spilled one. I'll just eat that one. I don't want to waste anything. They have a different flavor to them, but I'm wondering if that's because I just ate the green tea. It's not like Animal Cracker. It's almost like, you know the really big jumbo mints? It's not a mint, it's not, but I'm talking about like if you're American or maybe some other places have them. The really big mints that you can like bite and they kind of, you know, they kind of, they do break apart as opposed to the hard candy ones. You know, I don't, I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. I'll try to put a picture in if I remember. But it's that texture. And the inside is a, uh, I wonder if that's some kind of sweet bean or something. That's good. I like it. Very strange. I like it though. It really melts in your mouth after that first bite. 7 out of 10? Maybe 6.5. So definitely has been stuff here that I've liked more. That was good though. I ate several of them, so. Here's the next thing, which, uh. I have no earthly idea what this is. Looks like maybe some chocolate. I don't know if that's meant to be corn right there. No discernible language that I can under. Uh, and no discernible text that I can understand or translate. Alright, here goes. Ooh, is that a coffee chew? I think that's coffee. It smells like it. That's good. It's like a little coffee candy. I like that. Seven out of ten? A lot. So we started off with some like fours and fives, and now I'm actually hitting a lot of like sevens, eights, I hit a nine and eight point five. So I'm glad. Let's maybe let's get through these little guys. It's like a little rabbit on a scooter, or yeah, and then little toys in front of him. Not really anything that they can understand on it. Just I mean, for me, that's a lot of the fun. It does say sadami. I probably said that awfully. I'm excited to try it though. I probably do one of these like every week or every other week if I get a chance. If uh, if these videos are popular enough, I'm not sure how popular they'd have to be. Maybe like 10 likes. For where I start off at. What is this? Looks like it's gonna be a savory thing. Wow, that's huge. Okay. Oh. That's like a big Cheeto. I don't know what flavor that is. That is so good. Oh my gosh. That was really good. 8.5. That was so good. Oh my gosh. I like these. There's a lot more of them to get to, so let's try them. There's another one of these. Again, nothing I can really read. Not even sat on me this time. So, it be a little different. And it looks like just a different flavored one. This one actually looks like a Cheeto. Mmm. <laughs> Tastes like a Cheeto too, but it actually tastes like cheese. Cheetos taste like a really artificial cheese powder. This tastes like cheese. Somehow, even though it's so dry as well, that is so good. It's like a light sweetness from the corn, which seems more natural to me, but I'm not sure that that's the case. And then an actual like cheese flavor. It doesn't taste artificial, which in America is so hard to find. <laughs> I give that a nine, I think I got to. It's actually better than the other one. I'm gonna give that an 8.5. These are really good. Okay. Choco snack. 
I can read that. Barely. Oh, it's like a chocolate one of them. Oh. It's like the same shape and uh, look to it. I would eat the whole thing right now if I didn't if I didn't want to save some for my fiance. That is the lightest, fluffiest. Wow. Like, I, don't, it's, I almost want to call it a pastry, but I don't think that's what it should be called. It's like a candy, like, wafer on the inside. Or, uh, like a puff wafer. And the really nice light layer of chocolate on the outside. 9.5? Maybe a 10? Oh, man. It's close. It's up there. That is so good. Someone can tell me what this is so I can order more, too. Let me know. This is different. Again, I can't uh, discern anything that it says. It looks like maybe a sour Twizzler or whatever. Compare it to something that we do have. Okay, it comes off in strips. Wow. We started off weak. We really did. We started off with some of the worst ones. This is better than, like, this the sour rope or whatever. The thing I'm noticing between our candy and a lot of Japanese candy is that I'm sure this still has a lot of artificial stuff in it, but the flavor, you can tell what it's supposed to be, where in a lot of American candy, it's like sugar, sour, like a hint of apple, you know? This is like, I can tell that this is fruit flavored, but it may be artificial, maybe they just use more. It was really good. I like that. It tastes less artificial. I don't know if it is. Um, 8 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Man. Okay, what we got here? Mini pack. I have no idea what this is. Looks good. Oh, it's like a little... Um, I forgot what they're called. I kind of put them in salads sometimes. Kind of like a mix between a presser and a crackle. Not a presser and a crackle. A cracker and a pretzel. Looks good. Six out of ten. It's not bad. It's about what a pretzel, you know. A good pretzel. What on earth is, is it, Am I supposed to eat this? Jelly, yeah. Not that they cocoa jelly. It looks like something you would not eat, but, uh... I'm gonna eat it. Open. How? I don't see a seam along the side here. Do I tear it? What? Look at this, I'm supposed to pull it apart. Uh oh, this is gonna make a mess. I feel like my dumb American brain. Hello. Trying my candies. I got some that you can, you can taste. My fiance has joined us. I didn't want to wake you, and I wanted to do these before the next uh, game. I'm struggling here. Come pull up a chair. I'm struggling to open this one. Magic cut. Okay. Um, I'll go over. Let me let me open this one because I already started opening it, and then I'll go over some of the ones that I think you'd like. I can't get this open. I'm gonna cut it. It says magic cut. What am I doing wrong here? Let's try not to. Let's try not to give up. I can't get it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna cut it. My dumb American brain. Okay. It's like a jelly. Don't know what flavor. Maybe grape or strawberry? Too many other candies in my mouth. The texture reminds me of a grape, but I don't think it's grape. I see a little coconut piece in there, I think. 
Want to try some? <laughs> Not bad. I like got four out of ten. I had a lot of good ones. All right, I want to show this again. Um, so yeah, there was this. Uh, I didn't even eat this because I wanted you to see it. It's like a little uh, little peach. Look how tiny. So I'm gonna try this one now. <laughs> oh, is it actually a peach? Oh. What is this? <laughs> it doesn't taste good. <laughs> it's like vinegar. Ew. Oh. Is this like maybe a cherry blossom or something? Is that produced fruit? Because I know the, the trees that just make the blossoms is, is there like a fruit of it i don't know because it has like the that's so sour <laughs> it actually is a fruit i thought it was a candy okay that's uh two out of ten <laughs> that was the worst one i saved it all right we'll go over some of the ones in a second here we got a little cute package here takaneshi hoshiume i don't really know what that means i don't know what this is we're almost done now. Oh, it's like a dried fruit. Oh boy, we're getting to the weird ones. None of my fiance's here, apparently. <laughs> Does not look that appetizing. <laughs> All right. It's way better than that peach thing. I think it's a dried tamarind or something. What does a tamarind look like? It's like a bean, like a, like a green bean, but brown and it comes from a tree you think this might be a dried tamarind it's very sour but it's good um i don't know if you eat straight tamarind <laughs> oh i have no idea it's good it's like a dried sour something some kind of fruit and right, we got another little strawberry cookie here glyco <laughs> oh i almost knocked my camera down i don't have a proper tripod for this I'm using a candle <laughs> All right, oh, it's two, so you can have the other one if you want. A little strawberry cookie. I'll let you know how it is first. It's really good. Just a little straw, a little cookie with the strawberry filling again on that. It's really good. I like their, uh, I don't know, all their flavors. Like, again, I don't know. It's probably, it might still be artificial. It might be just more of the same thing that we use here, but I don't think so. All their flavors come through. Like, I can actually taste the strawberry in this, even though there's not very much. I'll give that a 7 out of 10. That's good. I don't remember what I rated the other cookie. That one's a little better, actually. Some kind of honey. Something. That one, yeah, that one was actually a good bit better. I'll say 7.5. That strawberry in the end is really good. Okay, we got some kind of gummy bear. Is it just straight up gummy bear? They're all red. Their gummy bears are softer. And again, it's the same thing. I actually taste the flute, the flavor this is supposed to be. It's I think it's strawberry. I actually taste, like, usually the gummies are such a, here, there's such a slightly discernible taste between each other that you can almost barely tell them. This is much noticeably more fruity. Really good. Uh, 7.5 as well. Alright, so we got this last big package here. No idea what this is. Oh, it's like a little onion ring thing. It's sweet though, it's not onion, I don't think. I have no idea. Puff rice, maybe? I don't know. It was good. 6.5 out of 10. I like those. All right. No idea what this is, but apparently you get one in a backpack or something. And yeah, it's all Japanese, so. Real Japanese candy. And real Japanese snacks. It's like a little ramen noodles or something. They are cooked though. They're not, they have like almost a smoky flavor. It's not just like the noodles uncooked. That's good. I'm gonna, put, I'm gonna save these and put this in my salad. It's 
Six out of ten. That's good. I like it. All right. Five, six left. What is this? Looks like Pop Rocks or something. Let's try it. Oh, it looks like pills. <laughs> oh, some of them pop, and some of them are hard candies. I see it right there, actually. It's good. <laughs> I like that. I'm gonna get some more pop rocks. Um, seven, seven out of ten. Yeah, it's good. It's actually a flavor to these. I mean, I'm liking most Japanese company more than I like the American versions. I actually taste a flavor rather than just sugar. It's the Pop Rocks, you know? Wow, oh, these ones are really popping. 7.5 actually, it goes up. I'm getting some more of that flavor at the end and it's so good. Take a drink of water. Okay. Um, this black labeled candy, no discernible writing that I can understand. Just worries me a little bit. Oh, there's another butterscotch, okay. I already tried that, so. Oh, is this licorice? It's very dark. No, it smells like uh, maple syrup, actually. There's a hard candy. That's good. I think it's just a maple syrup hard candy. There might be a soft center, but I'm not going to eat the whole thing right now. <laughs> I have went through way too much. It's good, though. Um, six out of ten. I mean, if I got to the center, it might go up later. But I'm not going to do that right now, so. Alright, we're at the last uh, three here. I've liked everything for the most part. Lowest rating was that that little thing that I thought looked really good. It's like a soda bottle or something. Okay. Let's open this guy up. Oh, yeah, this is like shaped like a soda bottle. We have kind of something like this in America, but it's actually very hard. This is very soft, like a gummy. Sour a little bit. It's nice. It's a very subtle flavor. And I think that lets the sourness of the the little um I don't know, like sour sprinkles or whatever those are, uh come out at first. It's good. Five point five out of ten though. Uh, it's not like there's been so much good stuff in here. I don't, can't really rate that too high. Unless it was not bad though. I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna open it with scissors. Struggling. All right, second to last one. Hope these are some good ones. There's cut. There's three different colors: green, white, and yellow. I'll try them separately, I guess. Oh, it's like rock candy. That green one's very. Very different flavor. I wonder if that's like green tea. They get so much more flavor into all their candy, I'm telling you. With rock candy, literally, I think in America, it's just sugar. Not a flavor to it. I'm not sure if it was green tea or what, but I had one of the green ones. There's a white one and then the yellow. I'll try them all. I don't think I've ever had flavored rock candy. I think the white one was unflavored. Maybe the other one will have a flavor. Yeah, it's like lemon or something. I really love how all their can even though I don't like all the flavors that much, I do prefer them all to just nothing. It's just sugar. Um, six out of ten. It's good. All right, and the last little guy here. Some dude with his tongue out really long. Again, it's all in Japanese, so I have no idea what this is. Looks like a, almost like a starburst. More like a piece of gum or something. I don't know. I think it's gum. Oh, look at that. Clever me finished with gum last. Yes, I think it's gum. No, it's melting. <laughs> Not entirely. I think this is gum. So I'm gonna finish with that. 
Always convenient. I'll keep that in my mouth. I'll give that a. Uh, that's good. The flavor's really nice. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Finishing strong. So, what are my favorites? Oh my gosh, this thing was so good. I almost get. I, I think I might give this a 10. Like, compared to everything else, it's just so good. And chocolate and the wafer. It's very simple, but the way that they've done it is so elegant. It's really nice. That was really good. I really like both of these. I actually really like this too. This little green tea cake thingy. That's really nice. I think about anything else. Most of it was pretty good. Got a lot of candy left now. Yeah, I mean, it's like these. Little uh, snacks there. And then uh, probably this bunny one. Probably my favorite. It's really good. Don't remember what ratings I give them, but looking at the pile over here, I think that those are my favorite. All right, well, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate that. I now have gum in my mouth, so I apologize. <laughs> it was a lot of fun, and uh, if we get enough support for these, then I'll be doing another, maybe a Turkish one or something in the future. Maybe you guys could leave a comment down below what you think I should try next, like what region. And I'll put all the links to everything down below. And last closing note here, thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate the support. I want to... Uh, let you know though, I try to constantly give back to my community, so I want to invite you all to the Discord, where not only we have weekly giveaways, I really want to encourage you guys with the, shit, the story that I've shared in the outreach channel on Discord, hope you guys will read that, really let that sink through you, think about that, and consider sharing your own, because some other people have done that, and they felt encouraged, and encouraged others. But otherwise, thank you guys for watching, I appreciate it, be excellent guys, have a great day, God bless.